Hey, Lou here one more time, and this is an add-on to the first drill that I did on zone entry, and that one was an individual drill, which could be worked with one defenseman, and that's for sort of a single along the boards to be entering the zone. On this one, we're going to add a centerman that is going to shadow uh, even with the player on the boards and or even a little bit below and so that gives the defenseman some options and it also gives uh, the winger on the board some options so let me just roll this and I'll stop and I'll say a few things along the way so the pass starts from the blue line and we have two players the player that passes the puck immediately goes to the boards and we want him well on this side of center and we have the centerman supporting again we want him on this side of center and in a sec let's roll it that gives Caden the defenseman some options and he could either go there or there depending on where the puck pressure was or where the four checker was heading the one thing I would say is this player here as he's transitioning from backwards to forward or pivoting up along the boards I want him to scan through the middle. If a defenseman and or a forward follows him there and it's contact, he could get really smacked into the boards. And so if he has his head up scanning, he could just basically tip off the boards, allowing the center to come through. So let's roll it here. This is a second defenseman that we set up here. Clearly he misses a rather easy pass that was on the tape. He's going to recover here in a second. And one of the things I'm fond of saying, ask the players, is you can't make chicken salad out of chicken crap. Bad passes equal more bad passes. Uh, he's probably feeling pressurized, and so again, he jams it into the skates. And then he's going to turn and make a really poor backhand that actually goes to target. Let's have a look at the next group. Jordan's going to make a great pass on the tape. She's going to scan nope stays there again the pass and I really sorry I really want to point this out the defenseman puts the puck where the player's stick is so if Jordan's stick was facing back into the zone that's where she wants the puck if her stick is facing forwards heading towards the other end that's where she wants the puck and that tells the defenseman uh, in a fairly quick pressurized situation where to put the puck on the tape. Now, at this point, if we had the defenseman coming up, she could tip off the boards, she could throw it immediately across to Nathan in the middle. And at this point, when she gains the blue, again, if the defenseman is high, she's got some options. She can throw it in the middle, she could throw it down the corner. This time she throws it straight across, they're even, or we could work a high-low where Nathan stays high, or he drives to the net, creating a better diagonal for a good shot. So, this is basically the zone entry drill with a supporting centerman. Uh, it comes to me, Kareth Heath Dennison, uh, who's been around in Nanaimo hockey forever. Uh, does great development work for us, and I love working with the guy. Thanks for listening. Take care. Bye.